So for our guest, for our first discussion is we will have the different dimension style in just one drawing area. All you need to do first is to create layer properties. Why? Why do you need a layer properties for different dimension style? That is because we're going to identify which one is architectural, which one is engineering, and which one is scientific, decimal, or fractional. So let's say we will going to create, in this lecture, we have only three. Tatlo lang muna ang gawin natin. Those are the architectural. Okay? That is a figure, ha? Then, we will going to create, let's say, engineering. And next one, we will have, let's say, decimal. And also, since we are creating three types of land type, we will going to name it or we will going to assign different color for that. Let's say, yung architectural, we assign yellow. Let's say, yung engineering, we assign red. And let's say, yung decimal, we're going to assign yan, magenta. Then, yung line type, all continuous, but for the line weight, we can set it to both of them having 0.4 or 0.5. So, let's say, this time, we're going to use only 0.4. Why 0.4? So, ang purpose lang naman natin is kapag i-turn on ko yung line weights, makita kong makapal pa rin yung object. Hindi naman, hindi naman natin ipiprint siya actually. Okay, next is we'll have now yung text para ma-label natin yung different length type. Then, the last one is we have dimensions. Okay? For the text, I'll going to use green. And for the dimensions, I will going to use cyan. Okay, so for the line weight of the text, I'm going to use 0.3. And for the dimensions, I will going to use point thirteen. Okay, so those are the different line weight that I'm going to use in this lecture. For architectural, engineering, and decimal, those are all figures. That's why you have the uh, thickest uh, line weight. While for the text, I use only point three since that is just for lettering. Then since we have standard for dimension, which is the thinnest. Line weight, so that's why I am using 0.13. We don't have 0.1 only, so we have here 0.13 and 0.09. I choose 0.13, that is because if I'm going to uh, preview it, medyo makapal pa naman siya kumpara sa 0.09. Kasi pag nakazoom out yung 0.09, halos ghost na lang yung, yung lettering ng dimensions. Okay, so let's get started. So, let's choose first architectural. Okay, so let's create a figure using architectural. Okay, so halimbawa itong figure. So, let's use only lines para mas maganda. Okay, so i-importo natin. So, let's say, we're going to draw here 10. Then, pababa is 10. Okay, so this is your figure, for example. But take a look at the figure. It is not in architectural unit, di ba? So before you can access architectural, para tama siya, you have to type first units. Okay? Then, now, you can see that yung tinipe mo pala is hindi architectural. But rather, it is a decimal. So all you need to do, or this is the first step pala, so all you need to do is to select architectural your position, so just leave it at 1 over 16 inches. Then, for this scale, para hindi na siya mag-prompt na mali yung, diamond, yung, yung unit mo, so you choose na yung inches. Then, press OK. Then, now, since you have the units correctly applied, we can now redraw using the line. And this time, this is the way on how you're going to enter your lines that is two inches for example two inches lang naman. so that is different from the first one dash two dash one over three inches two feet pala and two dash two and one third inches then press enter eto na yung line then going down so let's say this is naman 
3 faith dash 6 and 1 third inches then press enter then let's close that first since salimbawa ito lang yung figure mo sa architectural so now let us dimension it so proceed to annotate then choose the best dimension for that okay so let's say choose standard then change your layer here yung override ng layer choose engineer ah, sorry not engineering that will be dimensions okay so we will choose first linear okay ito yung pag dimensions yun napakaliit niya diba napakaliit so we cannot see it and if we're going to zoom that one that is 26.33333 it is not the actual dimensions that we have entered kanina yung entered natin is may feet pa may inches pa so that is not the actual dimensions that we have entered so what we do is to create another dimension style paano pag create ganito lang naka point out sa standard kasi yung ginagamit natin dito is standard the next is click new pag click nyo sa new copy of standard pangalanan natin the same with our figure which is architectural okay then continue so now, we can edit the lines here, but I do not recommend editing this one. We can simply edit this, yung symbols and arrow. So let's choose your architectural tick. Then for the text, I don't edit this also. You, you, if you want, you can edit the text alignment. So instead of having horizontal, if you can see that it's all horizontal, you can click this one or you can choose this one align with dimension line. So, eto, naka-align na siya. Kanina, naka-horizontal lang siya. But now, it is aligned with dimension line. Whatever the alignment of the dimensions, naka-follow din yung dimension text mo. Or ISO standard. Yung ISO standard, if it is aligned, naka-align pa rin. Pero yung dun sa radial, naka-horizontal na siya. So, let's say we choose only align with dimensions line. The next is the fit. Since maliit yun, if you notice, it's very small. So, natakban lang. You can uh, make it more bigger by changing the overall scale. No need to change the, the, the height. No need to change the, the length of the lines the, and so on. All you need to do is to change this one. Automatically, it will go to change the entire scaling of your dimensions. Yung arrow, it will follow. The text will follow and so on. So, let's say we make this one three. Then, now, yung pinaka-importante, that is the unit format since this is architectural yung default nya is decimal change it to architectural then once you change the architectural let's uh, verify it first by clicking ok then close ok nag apply ba? kung hindi siya nag apply select mo eh, sorry uh, choose this one that is update then select mo yung object then press enter ok nag update na siya Okay, so if we're going to ask you, sufficient na ba yung size ng dimensions natin? Or we can make it more bigger? For your part, ano, sufficient na ba to or we can make it more bigger? So for me, it is quite small. So I can change that one to a more bigger dimensions. Choose lang yung architectural. Then modify. Then under fit, ito yung sinet natin. We can change this one to five. And let's verify it if it is now okay on our part. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Okay na siya. Then we can continue dimensioning. Just ver uh, just choose the architectural dimension style. So we can, uh, so your dimensions is fitted on your figure. So ito na yun. Naka-incline siya kasi we choose align with dimension style. And then ito pa yung last. So that is this. Okay. Okay. That is aligned. Sorry, that is a line because your line is at angle. Okay, so that is now four feet dash one and seven over eight inches. Okay, you can choose also angular. So this one, angular, and change this one. Yun, that is thirty two degrees. So that time you have now a architectural setting, tiba. Check the line width. If na apply yung line width, yes, it is applied. 
and also you can now rename it or we can place a label by clicking this one the multi-line text and we can label it here and we name it architectural okay so that's it close it first if to see if the text is small or quite enough for the figure so okay naman yung yung text just align it properly so you have na yung ortho so i align ko lang siya dito so that's it so now i am going to proceed to the home setting and if i can change this one to the correct player okay Yan. and remember a while ago we draw this one 10 by 10 then we connect it yung uh, endpoint to endpoint nila but this is decimal so all you need to do is to change your units again to decimal yun yung decimal natin and decimal na siya i can change this layer to decimal since decimal naman yung units na ginamit natin dito yeah, so next is to annotate it we're going to create another dimension style and this time that is now decimal again proceed to standard new copy yan then name it decimal then continue the setting it will open your uh, setup for the dimensions proceed to the arrows and symbol if you don't like the close field you can choose another uh arrowhead so let's say this naman, this this arrowhead naman the origin indicator and yung text let's say horizontal so this time we don't change it to align with dimension line then yung fit one so let's uh check first if yung overall scale na one is okay naman then we can uh, proceed to the that setting okay the okay na muna natin okay that is dimensions then we try dimensioning this part Okay, yun ang overall scale na one, but it's quite small. So you, again, you can now edit it again. So click this one, then modify, proceed to the fit tab, then yung tab dito. So you're using one, you can change it to 2.5. So let's say we change it to 2.5. Then if you notice, you have so many zero here, which is not significant, you can check this one yung zero suppressions all trailing zero will be deleted so that's why you have trailing then click ok then close this one automatically it will go into update ayun wala siya yung decimal point system but if you have a decimal along with your drawing like this one so masashow niya pa rin so it will not going to round off your value but i -re remove niya lang yung mga zero on your dimensions it will, it will not going to affect your dimensions by the way okay and then for the angular you have this uh, angular angular yeah so this is now your angular settings okay but this time you have uh, wait, let's check if the line weight is also applied from this given drawing so applied in sha so this time we can name this by copying the architectural architectural label here and we can now name this as decimal okay pa. okay so this is now decimal and also we can uh, reduce its size because it's, it's oversized compared to the drawing so we can use only 1.5 okay so 1.5 lang so that's enough so now we have now two drawings having different line weight and also different dimensions okay so let's try the last one that is the this is proceed to home and yeah, engineering engineering is quite similar to the architectural except that their inches is in decimal point system okay let's draw another figure here so this time let's make it more bigger okay uh, by the way you need to change the unit first to engineering yeah. So precision, do not change it. Inches, okay. Then let's draw. Okay, so let's draw this one. You have here, see how ganyan. That is 9 feet, 9.75 inches. Okay, then going here, let's say uh, 7 feet, dash 5.65 
inches, enter, then going here, let's say 6 feet only, yun, 6 feet, then just close that one, okay? So you have now here a drawing which is in engineering length type. So next is we will going to dimension it, but first we will going to apply another dimension style here. So you have only how many dimension style? So you have only one, two only, because the the standard in ISO 25 is the default setting for your dimensions. So we can assign another dimension style here. We can get the copy from architectural view, a copy of architectural, and we can name this one as engineering. Okay, so lowercase only. Then continue the setting. Okay. If you don't want this arrow, let's say we change the arrow. Let's say you want uh let's say this this open 30 then for the text let's say we make it align with the oh, oh okay this one the ISO, sta ISO standard and for the fit we just leave it to five first primary units now we will go into change it to arc engineering okay press ok then close select engineering dimension style and proceed to dimensioning so this is not any more a linear dimensions but a align okay so that's one that is one so you have now here which is nine inches and 9.75 feet but if you notice that is quite small so we can make it more larger by clicking the fit scale and instead of five we make it let's say ten okay yeah ten Okay, so that's enough for the, this drawing. So we can continue your, your dimensioning. So this one also. And then continuing. Okay. Okay. So if you notice, you have only six. That is because the inches there is zero. So that's why it is suppressed. Okay. And this one. Okay. So this is the last one. And if you want to change the setting let's say you want to suppress your mga zero and this one you want i want to suppress this and i want to place zero on the inches you can do that by clicking the modify under dimension style then primary units so this one so zero suppression you can check this one trailing okay then close so you're going to notice that nawala na yung mga zero so all of the zero here, which is, which is significant, it has been suppressed. If you want only two decimal places, you can do that also by clicking primary units, but unchecking trailing, but yung precisions, you can set it up to the, the up to here. You have 0 0.004 the inches, then click OK, then OK. Okay, so yung zero din na bumalik, but here, you remove the unnecessary point. Okay, so this one. And do not forget the angle. Okay, so angular here. Yeah. And if you notice, it have different arrowhead. Diba? Diba naman yung arrowhead dito. And it will not going to affect your other drawing. Okay? So if you notice this one, so it's still architectural pa rin, And this one is still decimal pa rin. And for the label, you can just copy this. Yan. Okay? So we can place it inside. But we can make it uh, more larger but before that let's rename it to engineering and selecting that we can change this to uh let's say uh five okay yeah okay okay so that's all for your different land type and dimension style here okay so that's how you will go into change your dimension style if you have another dimensions or length land type you can simply click this this down arrow for dimension style and add more settings if you want. Okay.